Hey guys, welcome to Facebook Live. I'm Jeanette, this is my friend Grant. Hello! And today we are celebrating the holidays. Happy holidays, guys. I think it's the fourth night of Hanukkah we figured out tonight, and we are only 10 days away from Christmas, so we've got some really fun ideas to show you. I've got a fun appetizer, Grant's got an awesome brunch, we've got um, some delicious pasta, and you know since it's the holidays, we're obviously gonna have a cocktail. So um, make sure you guys are commenting. Um, we'd love to hear from you guys. What are you cooking for the holidays? Um, are you like elbows deep in latkes right now? I know tons of my friends are. Um, I love latkes so much. Um, or what are you planning on making for the holidays? Um, tell us about your holiday lasagnas and such. Ask us any questions you might have. Just write in and say hi. We'd love to say hi to you. So we're gonna get things started today. I think, um, Grant, you're gonna get things kicked off oh, yes, today, right? Oh yes, I am getting things started. Sorry, I was chopping my onions. Santa here. Grant today. Um, this is off of the pasta <laughs> later, but we're gonna get started with brunch because that's brunch. the first meal of the day. Brunch. At Christmas. <laughs> um, so we um, are making a hot chocolate waffle. Um, so this is kind of a fun, you know, easy thing to do. It's a nice brunch. Um, and we're gonna get started by making the dough over here. And here I just have a stick of butter. I melted it down a little bit. This is actually a hot cocoa waffle. Um, so it's a chocolate waffle batter, but we're gonna spice it up a little bit to make it kind of taste like hot cocoa. And then we're gonna top it with some marshmallow as well. Yes, we are. Isn't that fun? That sounds so yummy. Um, Becca commented and she says hello. Hello, Becca. Hi, Becca. And Albie says, you guys rock. Thank you, Albie. Thanks, Albie. Um, so I'm just warming up our butter right here until it's nice and melted. Then I'm gonna add in our spices. I have some ground cinnamon and some ground cayenne. Ooh. The cayenne makes it nice and spicy. Would you mind stirring that I up a little that. bit? Yes, of and I'm also gonna add in a bunch of nutmeg. Mm. So it's kind of a wink and a nudge to like a hot, a Mexican mm. hot chocolate that if you've ever had one of those. Um, but it's going to be in our waffle. Or like a spicy chocolate dipping sauce or churros. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Um, so then in this bowl I have some flour. To that I'm going to add in some cocoa powder. And some baking soda. And baking powder. And a little bit of salt. And some cornstarch. Um, I like adding cornstarch to... Uh, my waffle batter because it make, makes it nice and crispy on the outside. I like a waffle that's like crisp that? on the outside, but then like nice and cakey in the middle. Um, so the cornstarch is kind of your secret ingredient. Oh, that's a nice secret ingredient. Um, if you guys are just tuning in, I'm Jeanette, this is Grant. We're backstage with Rachel Rachel Prep Kitchen, and we are uh, celebrating the holidays today. Um, Grant's making these awesome hot cocoa waffles, and even just that mixture smells so good. Um, the spicy cayenne and the butter, I also am getting that. that oh, right. up. Um, Kathy says, hey, y'all. And Becca's asking, how are we? How are you, Grant? Uh, I'm all right. <laughs> OK. <laughs> no, I'm good. Um, we actually just finished um, taping for um, the year. 2017 um, yeah, on we'll the books. Yeah, back in January. But I we know. have all new episodes until um, the next couple so, yeah, weeks. So the next few weeks. Um, we're actually going to be on the show a week from now on we Friday, are. next Friday. Next seven days from today. We're going to make some holiday cheese balls. Yes, we are. I, I don't think that you'll be disappointed either. I think um, it was you, me, and Rachel's husband, John. Um, we all made some really, really fun cheese balls, so make sure you catch that next Friday, just in time for um, Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Yeah. Um, Anna says, I need to make these. I know, Anna, you might you might need to. They are smelling really good already. You need to make these. So I added in some sugar, just to catch you guys up. Um, a cup and a half of milk, and then I separated three eggs. So I'm going to add the yolks to our batter now. We're going to add the whites in a little bit later, um, because what I'm going to do is um, whip those up a little bit, and then fold in the egg whites. So you still have a nice fluffy batter. That's also a great tip. I love that. Um, so now we're doing pouring in all of that warm yep. butter. We're going to try not to get this all over ourselves. I'm already covered in flour today, so it's fine. There's no, no, no clothes are safe in the prep kitchen. Um, Kathy says that for the holidays, she does an appetizer, an appetizer buffet, then they open presents, and then they do a dessert buffet, and then they have hot chocolate. Oh, fun. Okay, I like that schedule of events. Yeah. Uh, my family are big appetizer people, too. I end up doing so many appetizers. By the time it's time to eat dinner, nobody's even hungry. I do love, like, cheese plates. And that I kind know. Of thing. I always love a holiday cheese ball. It's my favorite thing. Yes, exactly. Um, so I mixed up that batter. In this bowl, I've already started mixing up our egg whites. I'm going to whip those up a little bit more just so they're nice and fluffy. And then we're going to fold everything together and then add in some more chocolate. Ooh. I'm going to use some dark chocolate and some milk chocolate today because I like a combo. Um, you can just do whatever you have in the pantry. That sounds delicious. Grant, Becca wants to know, did you get all your Christmas shopping done? Um, I actually, for the most part, I have. This is the first year that I think I bought every single thing that I'm getting someone on the internet. Yep. Like, they didn't I actually to. go physically shopping all this year, but yeah. I like that. It's kind of yeah. nice. Um, Amber says that she spikes her hot cocoa with schnapps and then it tastes like Thin Mints. Ooh, yeah, yum. Like that's my husband's favorite winter cocktail. He loves schnapps delicious. and hot chocolate. Um, Anna says that she loves the Rachel Ray Show. Thank you, Anna. We do too. 
Uh, Monica says hello from South Haven, Michigan. Hello, Monica. And Leticia says that is very exciting that we're going to be on the show. Thank you. Also, exciting. check it out next Friday. Um, Joyce is asking, will the ingredients for your waffles be on the website? Yes, Joyce. Um, Grant's Hot Cocoa Waffles. And then um, I'm making a cocktail. He's making a beautiful pasta. And I'm going to show you how to make a wreath stromboli. All four of those recipes are going to be up on the Facebook page just a little bit later. All right, so I have incorporated and folded in all of our egg whites. So I'm going to add in our chocolate chips. Um, and then right behind me, I have our hot waffle iron heating up. I'm going to drop in some of the batter and cook these guys up. And I'll take a few minutes, and we'll show you how to top them. Yeah, I have to say, I've never made waffle batter from scratch. Is that is that an embarrassing thing to say? No, really, I feel no. like I always just use the mixes, and then I add stuff in. But that looks yeah. really simple. I feel you like know I what you could also that. do if you didn't want to like go through the process of making this? You could just use some chocolate cake batter and add in oh, some spices if you wish. I like that, too. Yeah. I like that, too. Um, Joanne says hello from Fresno, California. Hi, Joanne. And Letitia says, can I put hot chocolate into desserts? I don't see why not. I think that that sounds like a delicious idea. Um, Adriana says hello um, from Texas. And Susan says, happy holidays from North Dakota. Hi, Susan. Pam says hello from Michigan. Thank you guys for writing in. There's so many people saying hi to us today. Um, Grant is getting his waffles popped into his waffle iron. Grant, should I get started on my stromboli? Yeah, get started. Okay, excellent. So I'm going to pop over here. And now, if you've watched Facebook Live before, if you've watched it a year from a year from today, um, I always make stromboli around the holidays. That's just what my family loves. I make a pretty famous pepperoni bread that my family loves for the holidays. So um, my friend Emily and I were perusing the internet, and we found this really, really cute way of making a wreath stromboli. I thought to myself, of course, like pizza dough naturally is a circle shape. Why couldn't we make it into a nice festive wreath? Yeah, why not? So what I did is I just rolled it out in some parchment paper with a little bit of flour. And this is probably what, like 15 inches, yeah. like, would you say? Nice big one. In diameter, right? yeah. So then what you want to do is you want to take a sharp paring knife. I'm actually, I'm stuffing it with um, Italian sub, I'm making an Italian Ooh, sub stromboli. All of the fun ingredients you would find in an Italian sub that are going delicious. in the stromboli. Um, so what I'm going to do is take a paring knife. And I'm going to make um, three, about, maybe that's like six inches, slits um, across the center of it. Um, so it almost looks like a snowflake inside. Oh, fun. Yeah. Um, Carol is watching from Zeeland, Michigan. Hi, hello, Carol. Carol. And Catherine says, Merry Christmas from Brookville, Ohio. Oh, hello. That's where I'm from. <laughs> in Brookville, Ohio, a week from now. Um, Elizabeth says that, that she's hungry now. Uh, I'm making her hungry. Elizabeth. I guess that's a good sign. <laughs> that is good. And Natasha commented and said that Rachel Ray is um, her favorite cook. Mine too, Natasha. Yeah, she's our favorite cook as well. <laughs> we'll keep her. We like her. <clears throat> um, all right, so I'm getting things started. So the fun part about building this, I feel like this would be a really fun thing to do with the kids as well, yeah. is um, you're kind of building all the stromboli ingredients just in a circle. Because what we're going to do is we're going to fold it in a way so that it's going to be like a wreath, like I said. Uh, yeah, strombolis are fun too because you can pretty much put anything that you Shove like. Shove anything in there, totally. Yeah. Anything, anything will work. We've made um, tons of stromboli on the show. Yeah, just to remind you guys, if you want to make any of these recipes today, all these recipes will be up on the Facebook page later today. So just come check those out. Yeah. Um, Pam says, "Hey Grant, where is your Christmas crown? Oh, I wore it yesterday. We had a holiday party yesterday. <laughs> um, my mom made me a Christmas crown. Aww, and she sent it to me. Pam. I thought I'd wear my Santa hat today. I like the Santa. I like Santa Grant." Thank you. Um, all right, so inside my stromboli, those are just some pepperoncini, which are probably my favorite. Are they a condiment? I don't know. I add them onto everything. I don't know. Put them on my pizza. I put them on my sandwiches. They're just those um, green pickled peppers um, that you find in the jarred aisle at the grocery store. Um, they're spicy. They're sweet. They're really, really good. Um, so those go down first, and then I'm going to start layering in some salami. Right now, go. you can pretty much add any kind of Italian meats that you like or your family likes. Um, I'd recommend pepperoni. This is salami. I've got some hot and sweet copa ham. I'm gonna finish it off with some provolone, but so all now all the meats are going in. All the meats, yeah. If you've got, if you just have one, you could just do one. That's Shumbly is extremely forgiving, which is why it's one of my favorite things to cook. Um, Stacy is watching today from Kansas. Hi, Hello, Stacy. Um, Tony's watching from Crumbsville, Maryland. Hello. Is that right? MD is Maryland. Yeah. That's a hard one. MD. Because <laughs> it's like it doesn't really sound like there's a D in Maryland. I guess it's at the end. I get. Anyway, <laughs> um, Mike says Happy Hanukkah and Merry Christmas. Hello, Mike. Hello, Mike. Thank you. Um, and Anna says. Um, hashtag EVOO, the best thing ever. Hashtag EVOO, I know. Gotta love it. All right, so now the next round, Grant, you want to help me out? Yes. Let's start going around in a circle. This is some um, sweet copa ham. Um, I'm going to say I have all of these left over in the refrigerator from a segment, like I said, on the show. We're on the show next Friday. Um, the ch I'll reveal what cheese ball I made. I made a Italian sub cheese ball. Could have been going with the theme here. I really like Italian subs, guys. Um, but I called it the Tony Soprano cheese ball, which oh, was that's really so fun. fun. So you'll have to watch that next Friday. So I'm just kind of using all my leftovers from that segment. Um, Miranda is asking where I got the pizza dough. That's a very good question, Miranda. 
Um, I just got this at the grocery store, but you can definitely go to your favorite um, pizza place. They're always happy to sell you some. Um, you can make it yourself. I did not have the time this morning, but actually Rachel was just making pizza dough. She said she had some house gifts this weekend and she was making them probably some calzones, actually. Yeah. She loves making calzones. Um, speaking of Rachel, have you guys looked at Rachel's Instagram page? Uh, because her house is totally decked out for Christmas. Totally. It's so fun. It, she, if you she, haven't like, checked it out, it please like go check it out. And the, the funnest part is people actually ask me this too. They're like, does she actually do that all herself? And she does. She does. She doesn't have people come do it for her. No, she, she does, does it all herself. Both upstate and in the city. Yeah. Her house upstate and her apartment in the city. She, If you haven't checked it out, you have to go check it out. Um, Lynn commented and said that she made red velvet cookies and carrot cake cookies, um, and they're all gone. That's so delicious. She made them from a uh, box cake mix. Oh, that's super simple. Yeah. Um, Lorena is watching and said that Rach is so inspiring. Oh, I smell my waffles, and they smell like they might be burning. Oh, let's go check waffles. those waffles. Okay, so I'll catch you up on what I've been doing with the stromboli. Um, you saw us layer all of the different um, meats that we're putting. I finished it off with some provolone slices. I cut all the meats in half just so they would fit nicely within the ring. And then I'm just topping the provolone with a little bit of oregano because every good Italian stuff has some oregano in it. So now comes the fun part. I'm gonna show you guys how to wrap this. It's super simple. You wanna take the point and then you wanna fold this over and then you just wanna stick the point to the outside and you wanna do that six times. And it just makes for this really pretty presentation because you're gonna see the cheese kind of melting out. You're gonna see some of your toppings start bubbling out. See, Grant, it's already starting to look like a wreath. Oh, look at that. That's so pretty. It's, so, it's just so It cute. does look like a wreath. I just want to hang it up on the wall. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to brush it with some egg wash. And this is, again, anything you do with a regular stromboli. Egg wash sounds fancy. It's just an egg that's mixed up with a little bit of water. Um, Lois Ann asked a very interesting question. Yes. Can you make this in advance? Um, I would say I wouldn't make it um, a day or two in advance. You could definitely make it the morning of and then just store it. Um, you don't want to put it in the refrigerator. Um, but you could bake it. I wouldn't like leave it raw because it gets a little finicky. Yeah. Um, if I were you, I would bake it in the morning before your guests came over and then just maybe store it like on top of the stove, on top of your oven, like where it's warm-ish and then just serve it. But I, why, what I love about stromboli, again, the most forgiving food, is that you can serve them room temperature and then you mm. serve it with some hot marinara sauce and then nobody ever oh, knew yum. that it wasn't nice, nice and hot. That's a very nice So tip. I'm giving this a nice egg wash and that's going to give it a really nice brown color. I'm kind of tucking in the edges, but you can kind of do it however you'd like. And then I'm just going to top it with some sesame seeds, guys, because that oh, is yum. on any good Italian sub. You're Always eating it on some seeds. sesame seed, um, nice hoagie rolls. Um, Jennifer commented and asked if we're going to do a dessert cheese ball on the show. Um, we're not. We have five other cheese balls. None of them are dessert, but we do have a cannoli cheese ball recipe on the yeah. website. So you can just head over to RachelRatio.com. Um, we'll also post it for, it for you in the comments. Yes. Um, but yeah, we have, we have so many cheese balls on our website. It's crazy. So this is my stromboli wreath before you pop it in the oven. I like to bake it at 375 for like 24 to 25 minutes. You'll know when it's done. And it gets nice and brown and why I like to build it on this parchment paper is because it makes it really easy to transfer it to a sheet tray before you bake it super simple Perfect. I'm gonna show you the finished one I've got it right here I'm gonna grab my marinara sauce because the fun of making this a circle is that you get to serve it with some marinara sauce dipping in the center Ooh, yummy. and like I said you want to make sure that's nice and hot because I even baked this maybe like an hour ago so it's not it's, it's room temperature, but it'll yeah. be nice to dip it's so in, pretty. The hot, in the hot sauce. Not only Thank is you. that delicious looking, and is very delicious, I'm assuming, <laughs> it's also a nice centerpiece for your, it is. your holiday I table. I think so, yeah. You get to try a little piece. Let's break some off. <clears throat> sure. Um, How are your waffles? You saved them? Oh, they look beautiful. Yes, they're perfect. Um, so I have them right here. These are our hot chocolate waffles. So it's a nice chocolate waffle batter with some chocolate chips in it. Ooh. And then we spice it up with some cinnamon and some cayenne. And then I'm going to top it off how you would top off any hot cocoa. With a nice big spoonful of marshmallow fluff. Fun. Or you could use, you know, marshmallows. Oh my gosh, one. I love this. I can't and wait to then, try these. And then, just to make it a little more holiday fun, I also have some crushed up candy canes <gasps> over here. How fun is that? I Oh my gosh. Yum. You guys, we are so festive in here today. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you guys can see inside of this, you could see all the different layers of the meat and the cheese and the rice stromboli. So that's really fun. I cut us off a piece. Actually, Grant, I think we should do tradesies. Oh, yeah, you want to try it. a bite of this? I want to try this waffle. Oh yeah, there's no towels. That's okay. Um, are there any forks? Yeah, I can try this waffle. Thank you. Um, Kimberly says hello from Missouri. Kimberly, thank you for watching. Shirley says good morning. Thank you from Denver, Colorado. Carolyn says hi, Grant. Was that you on Good Morning America this morning? No. Were you on Good Morning America I wasn't. this morning? <laughs> <laughs> I think he was here. He's been here all morning. Um, Elba is saying, please, what can I cook today for her birthday? Happy birthday, mm. Elba. Um, I would say try. This is delicious. Is it, is it good? Oh, I love the banana peppers in this. Yeah, right. It's it, so yummy. It adds like that nice vinegary mm -hmm. taste. I would say you can make any of this today because these recipes are going to be posted on the Facebook page just a little bit later. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh mm. my God. This 
Make these waffles for dinner. No, why not? Why not? It's the holidays. I feel like all better. And then when you put the fluff on top of the hot waffles, it melts melts and oozes out. Oh my gosh. These Um, are so fun, Grant. I love these. I'm going to make a pasta in just a minute, but I just wanted to... um, I'm gonna drop the pasta here, but I want to show you guys these fun noodles. Look at these. Ooh, Aren't those fun. They look like my hair. I don't know what they're called. Rachel <laughs> bought these from like some Italian store, and it's in Italian, so I don't know how to say it or what it's called. But we'll call them. I'm gonna drop it in the water, and we're gonna use these in a little bit later. I'm just gonna keep eating this. Mm. That's a good waffle. Lorene says, "Throw sesame seeds over over my shoulder for good luck," like Rachel does. Okay. <laughs> Mary says, "I enjoy watching you both great recipes. Thank you, Mary." Sorry, I'm talking with my mouth full. That waffle is so good. Beatrice says hello from New Jersey, my home state. Hello, Beatrice. Um, And Margaret says happy holidays. Thank you, Margaret. Happy holidays. Thank you, Margaret. All right, I'm going to take my head off. It's getting a little hot. All right. So up next, we're going to make, we've already made a nice um, brunch or dessert, the hot chocolate waffle. I can't stop eating it. I'm sorry. (laughs) um, Stromboli, which I highly suggest that you make because it's delicious. Um, I'm going to get started over here on a nice, fun entree. Um, this is great for the holiday season, but this is actually what I make every single year for New Year's Eve. Um, this is a champagne pasta, um, and it's kind of a combo of like two of my favorite recipes. A few years on the show, Rachel made a champagne cream sauce. Um, she added some like shrimp to it, um, some fettuccine noodles. Oh, that was a was great delicious. recipe. I remember that. Yeah, I think it was originally in her magazine, and then she did it on the show. Um, but then separately, one of my favorite restaurants in um, Brooklyn is Lilia. And the chef, Missy mm. Robbins, she was actually on the show today. That was funny timing. I know, isn't that she funny? She was awesome to she work was with. So oh, nice she was so, so cool. She made this um, 30 clove garlic sauce. Uh, but my favorite recipe at her restaurant is a pink peppercorn cacio pepe. Mm, so I'm going to so kind of combine the two and I love make it. a champagne cream sauce with pink peppercorn. Wow. I know, isn't that fun? <laughs> Those are two very so good this, recipes. Yeah, you, can, you can make this for the holidays. You can make it for um, New Year's Eve. Or if you just make it any weeknight. Make it tonight. It's really <laughs> fast and easy to make. It's festive. Um, it's time to celebrate. And here I just have some butter. Um, it's a stick of butter, which is very important because it's basically just like a butter and cheese sauce. Mm-hmm. So you need a lot of butter. Um, and to that, I'm going to add in some shallot. Beautiful. I have some more shallots right here that get chopped up. Um, Jillian commented, this dish all looks so delicious. Thank you, Jillian, for watching. Brenda says hello from Madison, North Carolina. Hello, Brenda. Hello, Brenda. And Flora is watching from Pennsylvania, and it's snowing. How festive. I know. Wow. I feel like a few mornings for the past few days, it's been like beautiful snow. and Nothing super accumulating, so it's been actually really nice. There hasn't been the need to shovel yet, which is yeah. great. Um, but it is so beautiful. Yeah. I love when it snows. Me too. Rebecca wants to know how we come up with recipes. Um, I feel like... I, I, I look what Grant was just saying. I feel like we get inspiration from the people around us. You yeah. know, um, Grant was just saying he was inspired by Missy Robbins, who's on our show today. Um, I feel like Rachel's always so inspiring with like different things that she makes. Yeah. Or at like, a different time of the year. I was like, how do I turn a stromboli into a wreath? Took some inspiration <laughs> from the season. Yeah. Uh, so I have our shallow cooking up with some butter. And I'm going to add in a bunch of garlic. Um, this is like six or eight cloves of garlic. I kind of lost count, but <laughs> this um, ingredient or this actual um, recipe doesn't have a ton of um, ingredients in it, so all the ingredients we're going to use a lot of. So we have a lot of shallot, a lot of garlic, and we're just going to cook this out a little bit. I'm also going to add in two teaspoons of the pink peppercorns now. Um, I put them in a spice grinder and crushed them up, but I kept it like kind of coarse so you can still see the pink. Um, but I like to add it at this stage so it kind of toasts up a little bit and flavors it. Extra festive. Let's put in one more. Just to one make more, it. yeah. Extra pretty. Yep. And then I'm also going to add in some um, salt as well. Jacob's watching from Newfoundland, Canada. Hi, Jacob. Hello, Jacob. And Rhonda says good morning from Kingston, Ontario. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, so I like this for the holidays um, with the pink peppercorns in it because it's like Christmas colors. Because mm-hmm. then we're going to pop it with some parsley and some rosemary. Oh, pretty. Yeah, it'll be nice and pretty. You know what's one recipe you guys can't miss, which is another. I know we're talking about Missy Robbins um, again. But she made on the show today this baked salami. Mm-hmm. It was two ingredients. It was a bottle of store-bought syrup and a mini salami. It was so good. And when I tell you we ate it all day, she said it's so simple. She said it was super easy. When she brings it to parties, it's like the only thing that people talk about. Yep. It was a showstopper. It was two ingredients. You have to head to our website and find that recipe. I'm certainly making that for my family this Christmas. And it's it was also, so good. I loved it too because it made the entire kitchen, it made this whole studio smell like warm maple syrup. Exactly. It smelled like the holidays. It was it so was, delicious. It was, it was so, yummy. so, so good. Um, all right, so after this cooks up for just a couple minutes, we're going to add in our champagne. Um, I'm actually using Prosecco. That's what we normally use around here because it's um, much like champagne, but it's a little bit more inexpensive. It's our house from, bubbly. Yeah, and it's from Italy, so we like to use that one. Yeah, exactly. I'm um, just so going to add about a cup and a half to the um, pot, and then we're just going to let it cook out and let it thicken up a little bit. How lovely. So that goes in. I'm going to crank up the heat to bring this to a boil. Nikki then... from your home state of Ohio says hello. Hi, hello, Nikki. Nikki. Thanks Colleen for watching. Colleen says, have a wonderful Christmas from Cedar Falls, Iowa. We hope you have a wonderful Christmas too, Colleen. 
Jessica says hello from Florida. Jim says that we need our own show. Thank you, Jim. <laughs> Mike says, what do you guys want for Christmas? What do we want for yeah. Christmas? Yeah, what did you ask Santa for? I was trying to think of like something interesting that I asked for, but I don't really remember. I'm trying to think. I said, my husband and I actually don't do presents anymore because we own a house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I feel like once you own a house, you know, like all I want for Christmas is a new roof. So, oh. <laughs> so we're giving each other the gift of a new roof. You know, a new roof is very important because if you don't have a roof on your house, then Santa has nowhere to land. You were right. So you need a new you roof. You don't want him to year, fall so. through my roof. Exactly. I don't want to be the one who kills Santa. <laughs> yeah, that would not be good. That wouldn't fly. Um, we are very lucky though. Rachel always gives us a Christmas gift every year. She mm. gave, gave us her gifts the other day. Oh my gosh. She bought me the coolest denim kimono. I should actually wear it. You should wear it on the next time. Facebook Live. It it's is so such cool. a seriously cool kimono. Yeah. Rachel bought me, speaking of furnishing my house, she bought me the most beautiful coffee table. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> yeah, yes. it is. She's so thoughtful and so generous. Um, it is a really cool coffee table. Maybe I'll post a photo of it in the comments so you guys can see it. It looks really pretty. How's your pasta doing? That's good. I'm actually going to grab a little bit of the pasta water. I thought I had a mug back here, but I can't find that. Um, Judy says, where do you buy Rachel's pan for cooking bacon? Um, Judy, if you watch our show, Rachel always gives the tip that you should use your broiler pan. Um, and that actually comes with your oven, I think, like when you buy an oven. It's always that kind of big piece with the slots in it. Um, and then she bakes it on there so that the grease falls out and your bacon gets extra crispy. But if you wanted to do that and you couldn't find your broiler, bro broiler pan, I actually don't know where mine is. Um, what I do is I put a cooling sheet on a on, on a cookie sheet, and I bake my bacon on there, and um, that's how I get it to be extra crispy and the bacon and the grease falls down as well. She also sells a crispy sheet if you wanted to purchase that as well. That's, that's, how a, that's a lot of bacon cooking. Options. A lot of bacon yeah. cooking. Yeah. <laughs> I've got you guys. Um, Lisa is watching from Fenwick, Ontario. Hi, Lisa. And Nat Natasha is asking, what is our favorite um, tradition around the holidays? Do you have any fun traditions? Do I have any fun traditions? Um. I feel like it's just all about family. I'm actually really excited this Christmas because it's my first Christmas with my niece. Oh, that's um, so My fun. brother and his and, and my sister-in-law had this beautiful baby girl. Um, and so she's two or three, almost three weeks old tomorrow. And so it'll be our first Christmas celebrating with her. So I'm really, oh, really excited exciting. about that. That's fun. I think one of my favorite traditions, um, we don't do this anymore, but I, when I was a kid, when I was a really little kid, um, my cousins and I would all sit around. This was before we opened presents. So we were like very antsy. Um, and my grandma <laughs> would lead us in a Christmas carol um, singing thing. And she would just start singing Christmas carols. That's and we'd so all nice. sing over. Yeah, it was very funny. And she had like hand movements for like all the words. Oh, wow. She, it was like choreography. Was <laughs> um, Maybe you should bring that back this year. We should. We should try it. Maybe we'll do it Please send videos. <laughs> Um, if you're just tuning in, I'm Jeanette, this is Grant. We're behind the scenes at the Rachel Ray Show Prep Kitchen. Grant is in the midst of a beautiful champagne pasta, which you guys will have to download because it smells real good in here. I'm still eyeballing my uh, hot cocoa waffle that Grant made earlier oh, that yeah. was so, so good. I might have to go take another bite. Thanks. Um, Elizabeth is asking, are you the one who toasts the bread for Rachel? Mm -hmm. Guilty. Yes, that is her, and she goes more than toast bread. <laughs> In fact, one of her second favorite things is making cocktails. It is. Oh, is it time for that? Nice There's always time for a cocktail. <laughs> always time for a cocktail, yes. I like to toast bread, and I also like to um, make cocktails. So it's not the holiday season until there are some cocktails. Am I right, guys? That's um, true. So what I'm going to make for you today is called a, I think that thing is, Sorry, we've got some pasta boiling over. Um, what I am going to make today is called a Merry Mint Julep. And why I call it a Merry Mint Julep is because I love mint juleps. They're one of my favorite cocktails. But how come you only drink them around the derby time? How come you only drink them in May? I don't know. I actually feel like bourbon's quite inappropriate for May. I, I need some bourbon now where it's icy cold, warm my, my cold, cold, not heart, body. It's freezing outside. <laughs> <laughs> my heart is very warm. Um, so inside a cocktail shaker, I am going to start with some bourbon. I'm going to do about three ounces of bourbon right in the cocktail shaker. And then what's going to make it merry is some pomegranate juice. I love pomegranate juice. I've convinced myself that it's full of antioxidants. <laughs> <laughs> um, my so, mom commented and said that we are going to do Christmas carols this year. Oh, confirmed. Pam's confirmed. bringing it back. Pam's bringing it back. Yeah, now we're really going to need some videos. Okay, so I add in a few shots of some pomegranate juice. Um, I whipped this up before. This is just a simple syrup. You've seen uh, us and Rachel. I know uh, Rachel's husband, John, makes this all the time. Yeah. It's just equal parts um, sugar and water. Yeah. Um, and I flavored this with some mint. You can see the mint got all kind of um, squooshed down yeah. from being, uh, it wilted down from being in the hot liquid. Um, I just pour that in. I did a quarter cup for this. It's going to be two cocktails. 
And I think that's everything that goes in my cocktail shaker. Grant, do you mind just filling these with some crushed ice? Oh, sure. Because you can't have a mint julep without some crushed ice. That's true. Um, so I'm just going to give this cocktail shaker a nice little shake. Um, oh, just to remind you guys, don't don't forget to click on the follow button. And then anytime the Rachel Ray Show goes live on Facebook, you'll be able to check us out. Or whatever the heck we're doing that day. Yeah. Every, yeah, people ask us often, like, when are we going to do this again? We never really know until yeah. right before. So if you just follow <laughs> us, we'll let you know exactly. right before it happens. So you'll oh, that's, moment. that's funny. Len commented that him and his family don't do presents either because of the house. Once you have a house, all of the money just kind of goes in. We actually need a new lawnmower, so maybe we'll gift each other that at some oh, point. Wow. I know. Lots of very romantic gifts in my house this holiday season. All right. So I'd like to serve these in some rocks glasses um, over some crushed ice. But you can already see how merry is this. Oh, that's so pretty. So merry and pretty. Um, I just like to top it off with just a little bit of seltzer. Just a splash. Just a splash. Get your hydration in to go with your antioxidants of your uh, pomegranate juice. And then since it's the holiday season, I feel like little mm. rosemary sprigs just make everything look super Christmassy. And then I'm just going to add in a few little sprigs of mint to finish the festiveness. Oh, that's so pretty. Thank you. Um, Pat commented and said Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Merry Pat. Merry Christmas, Pat. Merry Christmas to you, Grant. Merry Christmas. Cheers. 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 These are so pretty. Mmm. Mmm. That's festive. delicious. Thank you. Mmm. I love that. And I just, and I feel like a red cocktail this time of year. Yeah. Anyone can get healthy. down with that. It's totally healthy. Yeah, just a little bit of bourbon, lots of pomegranate juice. Cheers to you guys. This recipe, Grant's pasta recipe, his beautiful hot cocoa brownie waffle recipe, and um, my stromboli wreath are all going to be up on the Facebook page just a little bit later. Um, Carolyn commented and she says that she's making Rachel's pumpkin black bean soup tonight. I, that's, that's a super old recipe and I actually have to say I've made that myself. It's one of my favorites. I think that might even be from 30 Minute Meals. It's a great one. Um, Natasha says that looks amazing. Thank you, Natasha. Cheers to you. I'm going to take one more little sip. Oops. How's it going with your curly hair pasta? Good. So I just um, mm. drained our pasta, threw it in here. I have some tongs somewhere. Here they are. They're somewhere. <laughs> We've made, I've made such a mess. <laughs> And so now, this is the most important part, is when you throw your pasta in, you just want it to cook in the sauce just for a little Ooh. bit more. Um, the sauce looks a little soupy and looks a little wet, but when you throw that pasta in there, it kind of soaks mm. up everything that's left over. Yummy. And then, once everybody's nice and coated, and those onions and garlic and butter and the pepper so corn, all we're going to do is add in a ton of cheese and turn this into a creamy pasta. Yummy. That's right, because a, a, a traditional Alfredo doesn't have any cream in it. It's just right. the butter and the, and yep. the Parmesan Rachel products. And you just kind of have to stir it up to emulsify everybody together, and it turns into a beautiful creamy sauce. Yeah, me. You see it kind of coming Miranda together. Miranda commented that drinking and eating at the same time were doing an awesome job. <laughs> All right, that looks good. Look how yummy that looks. Jessica says this recipe sounds super yummy. Jessica, you have to smell it. Yeah. It smells so good. And you guys actually saw this come together in yeah, real time. I absolutely. had some things chopped ahead of time, but that only took me a couple minutes. Took no time at all. Um, Valerie says, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Valerie. Merry Christmas, Valerie. Mm -hmm. And then I'm just going to take some of our pasta. Look at that. I love this shape of pasta. Oh, it's so fun. It's pretty. And then I'm just going to top it with some parsley because we have our um, pink peppercorns in there, which actually look kind of red. They're, yeah. And extra, then extra I'm going to take a tip from your cocktail over there. <laughs> Put a little rosemary on top because it looks like a tiny it's little a Christmas, Christmas tree. tree. And some extra pink, pink peppercorns wow. on top. Wow. Look how fun that looks. <laughs> right down there somewhere. Um, Debbie commented and said aloha from Hawaii. Oh, hello, Debbie. Aloha, Debbie. That means I don't know if she's saying hello or goodbye. Um, I have no idea. Well, it's probably almost time for goodbye. Joey Cola, our friend Joey, Joey Cola. Cola. If you guys have ever been to the show, you uh, know Joey Cola. He's the audience warm up artiste. Artiste. Like and he say. is certainly an artist. One Joey, we love you so much. Happy holidays, Joey. Joey would like, I feel like Joey would like this. Joey pasta. would like this. Jo pasta. Joey's favorite recipe of yours is your red wine brownies. Oh, that's true. Because he, he loves, loves the combination of red wine and brownie. I mean, yep. who doesn't? But that's Joey Cole is certainly your, his favorite recipe of yours. Chris says he can almost oh, smell it. That. Chris, I wish you could. It smells so, so good. Look how yummy that looks. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> that is so good. That's delicious. Did wow. we make some yummy stuff? Yeah, we did. That was fun. Merry Christmas to all. Yeah. <laughs> Um, well, thank you guys so much for tuning in today. Um, this will be our last Facebook Live for the year, but 
Um, we will be on the show, like we said, next Friday. Next Friday. I'm going to be on the show next Tuesday mm. making a holiday cake. So it's if a you guys beautiful are cake. For a fun holiday, Super simple one, too. Easy dessert. Yeah, yeah, that's next Tuesday. But we have all new episodes all week long, so make sure you check out the Ritual Ratio. Um, and if you haven't clicked on the follow button yet, do it right now do because right you'll know when we're live um, in 2018. Um, all these recipes will be posted later on today. But if you like what you saw today, make sure you like, comment, share, and comment. Happy holidays, Happy everybody. Happy holidays. Bye-bye.